There we go. Okay, so we're working today with Katina. She has she's she owns Jones Animal Behavior. And she's doing some clicker training with Mimi. And this is um not punishment based, it's reward based only. And if she doesn't if Mimi doesn't want to do it, she doesn't have to, right? So if this is really just to get her comfortable for getting shots in her lockout cage. So what I'm doing is letting her leave so her paws are outside of... I'm going to try to call her out. Sure. So I'm watching her front feet. And when her front feet come in, I'm marking that. Okay, that's what you're clicking. So I'm waiting for that. There it is. And she's getting rewarded with gizzards and stewie. She's like, I think I'll just wait in here. <laughs> Good girl. So that was, my click was a little too early. I okay. should have waited for that second foot. I'm just excited to be here. And it's good that she's remaining in because she was coming out very quickly mm -hmm. before. So she can understand it's not just following the tongs. Because if it was just following the tongs, then this would pay also. But it Yep. Oh, she just ate a feather. <laughs> See if we can get her a little bit deeper. Okay. We'll go for three. So you're waiting for both paws down, right? Yeah, and I'm going to see if she'll go in a little bit further and give me three. Great. She didn't do it quickly, so I don't want to. So this is operant conditioning, right? Is that, or yes. is this, okay. So classical is what you did originally, which was click and feed. Okay. And again, this is just, just so everybody, everybody who's watching, this is just to help her make medical care easier or getting into her lockout crate in case of emergency. This is not to make her perform or anything like that. This is just kind of to help her be more comfortable and less stress for everybody. Oh, good girl. She got three in that time. So you got the feather again. <laughs> you got the feather again. It's okay. They eat feathers when they get pole prey birds. So you work in Massachusetts and Rhode Island, right? Yes. Okay. And it's Jones Animal Behavior. And she works with cats and dogs usually. So now I'm making kind of a little line of depth in. Okay. So you can kind of see there's a little red berry in there. Oh yeah, yep. So she was at that distance before. And so she's thinking, what was I doing to get the food before? I was coming in here and getting the food. Why mm -hmm. is it happening again? So what I was asking for is too much. So okay, now so I'm going to go back to just two feet inside. Gotcha. Good girl, Mimi. And the reason we're doing with this this with Mimi instead of the others is the others are already pretty comfortable being locked into their lockout cages. 